okay we are in we are in the information on the sponsor okay no before jumping to information on the sponsor remember a uh, line seven enter the total number of immigrant your sponsor is on this you are sponsoring on this on this form for my turn one to six okay the number of of immigrant you are sponsoring is if only one person you put one but if this person have some family member you just add them and you put in this box in this case it's gonna be two since it's gonna be wife and son so the number of of immigrant that that uh, the petitioner is sponsoring is two okay i to, i put two here okay now uh, we are let's go to information on the sponsor uh full name of the sponsor huh full name of of this of the sponsor uh last name joseph the sponsor the sponsor last name so in this case we have to keep the same name that we we took remember the same name this the, the sponsor remember uh, the same name that we put and in, in part one wilson joseph eh? Because, because it's about Wilson Joseph, eh? Let's let's take uh, Wilson. Excuse me. So sponsor, it was Wilson Joseph. So the first name gonna be the last. The last name gonna be Joseph. Hold on, sorry. Hmm. Given name Wilson. Okay, it's about the sponsor. Remember, we told you you this petition are definitely gonna be spon the sponsor. But if you don't have enough money, another person also gonna write his name, gonna fill this form. So the name of the information about this person is gonna be here. Okay, but if it's only you, you just gonna fill this form one time. That's it. It's gonna be great. So less work, you know, less paper if you have enough money. Okay, so that's gonna be sponsor mailing address your mailing address let me put the mailing address 1802 9 avion your address your mailing address well that's mean where you received some people may have p.o box you know so if you have apartment if there is floor you put it if not you don't put anything there is no floor no and okay cd town I put Bradenton State. Let me put Florida. Let me choose Florida. Zip code thirty four two four three. Okay, that's a fake. Zip code, okay. Postal code, province. You know that's mainly for the country. But this is about the sponsor, eh? the address of the sponsor. Country. Most of the time it's USA. And uh, it may happen accidentally that you have mailing address overseas. Eh? That may happen. You may have mailing address. In, in another country that may happen sometime okay sponsor or place of residence usually it's the same right the same thing that me usually uh, mailing address and sponsor or place of residence residence is the same okay uh, but it may happen that you have uh, that you have uh, a different mailing address from uh, from residence address, huh? So let's say if you are living abroad, that means you are currently living in the United States, and you must show that your uh, you if you are not currently living in the United States, you know, you must show that your trip abroad is temporary, that you have maintaining your domicile in in United States. You can show this by providing proof of your voting record. In the United States, proof of paying U.S. state local tax, proof of having property in the United States, proof of 
maintaining bank of investment account in United States. That means if you are not currently currently living in United States, if you are temporarily living abroad of United States, uh, if you maintain in good faith to re to reestablish your domicile in United States, no later than the date of the intended immigrant, you must submit proof that you have taken concrete steps to establish that you will domic domicile in United States. Uh, at time no later than the date of intended immigrant, immigrant, intended immigrant admission or adjustment sta status to adjustment status to United States. Okay, so this is for people that are living uh, in other country. So we're gonna put the same thing here if it's the same. If it's different, you're gonna put something different. Okay, okay. Uh, mm, no. You're gonna put um, the same thing. You're gonna put tap it the same thing. You're gonna put your phone number here. Nine four one five six five. Nine four one five six five. I put the phone number six whatever. I put the, whatever the phone number. Okay. Country of the missile. Uh, most of, it should be most of the time, eh? USA. Mm -hmm. Date of birth is about the sponsor. Your date of birth. Let me put month 04. Let me put 26. Let me put uh, 1970. Uh, 1970. Okay. This is about the sponsor. Eh? Information in December. We're still in part four. City, town of birth. The town of your birth. Town of birth. That is on your birth certificate. Mine is Code de Fer. Town of birth. State of province of birth. If you have, you may not have. If you have province, you put it. My province is, we we'll call it, this is soft east in English, but it's Sud S in my country, South East, and country 80. That's in country of birth, and eh? social security. If you have it, it's required, but no, normally it's required because if you are a sponsor, you, 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 they, they, this is required because the sponsor is supposed to be someone that is living in the United States, that is citizen or permanent resident. So you're going to put just a number here for your. For your social security, because you have to have citizen and permanent resident have social security. This is this is an obligation, you know. And check here if you are a citizen, or if you are lawful permanent resident, or if you are U.S. national. That means if you born in 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 United States, you're gonna click here. Okay, uh, this box is mainly for lawful permanent residents that have any number, but many U.S. citizens have any number. You can use it or not. Eh? On your certificate of citizenship, you may find, but it's not really important. This is mainly a. This is mainly for permanent residents. They have alien number, but. U.S. citizen, you can put uh, you. You may find a number on your on your citizenship certificate. You can put it, but it's not really an obligation, you know, since you are citizens. Okay. To be complete by petitioner only. So the part, the number twelve, question twelve is 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 not for the. It's only by the petitioner. You have to say if you are. An activity in US are made first or not? Yes or no is up to you. Okay. If it's yes, you put yes. If it's no, you put no. Okay. Now let's go to power five. 